Maca's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Mac here with some of the cool new features available to the Alpha Ring members of the Xbox Dashboard Preview program. Now all of these features will be slowly rolling their way out to all Xbox Live members in the coming months. Now I wanted to start off the video by showing the light theme option or the white dashboard. What you'll do when this is available is go to your settings, then go to your personalization, Go to your system personalization and then near the top you should be able to see the system theme where you can switch between dark and light. And light makes everything white instead of that dark gray black you might be used to. Now I'm going to talk a little bit more about some other features coming up but I quickly wanted to show what you can expect from this theme. Basically everything you're used to is going to switch from the darker theme to the lighter theme. It's pretty obvious and it should work exactly how you think it'll work. That's gonna include things like my games and apps, your store, your guides, your keyboards, viewing your activity feeds, viewing your friends' achievements, all of the buttons and text labels should all be changed to accompany this theme as you can see on screen. Now there are no advantages or disadvantages to either theme. It basically comes down to personal preference and which theme you prefer. Now personally, I've been rocking the white theme on one of my consoles for over a week now and I really like it because it gives me somewhat of a Xbox 360 vibe with that white and green theme. And although it can be quite bright, I do usually play in a well-lit area, so it's not as jarring to look at as if I were playing in a dimly lit area. As I was saying earlier, the white should extend to pretty much everything you'd expect it to, including things like the keyboard and other areas of the dashboard. And even if you're not the biggest fan of the light theme, it's cool to have the option, and it's actually pretty nice to switch back and forth and give yourself a new vibe on your console every now and again. Now I did do a little bit of testing in order to see if there were things that were not affected by the light theme and from what I could tell things that had transparency on them do not actually take on that white similar to the achievement tracker and the party system in the top and bottom of this screen. I believe it would be too hard to read if it followed the theme. Now another thing you can also change in the most recent update has to do with a little bit of a screensaver. If you go to your preferences and then go to idle options, which is a new option, you can change how long it takes for your console to go into idle mode or dim screen mode. Additionally though, when you're in this mode, you can have it set up so that it shows you your notifications. Now I apologize about all the text on screen. I believe it's a small bug doing with the fact that I'm in preview but this is a small idea of what you can see. You'll see party invites and game invites on this screen as well. Last but not least, there was a small change with some game DVR options or record that and record this options. Go to your preferences and then go to broadcast and capture. Now typically you'd have it set at 720p, allowing you a maximum of five minutes. There is now an option for 1080p, allowing you a maximum of two minutes. You can also attach a USB 3.0 and capture these files externally if you'd prefer to have them on a USB key or hard drive, which you could then edit on a computer. This should be extremely useful to anyone looking to make videos or looking to take their content online more easily. I hope you guys are excited to try out some of these features soon. Let me know in the comments if you'll be rocking the light theme. Special thanks to the amazing people on Patreon for supporting the show, and hopefully I see you in the next video. Peace.